I work with a group of people that do a lot of stuff in blast engineering and one of the things I've been working on is these um, blast mitigation devices for airplanes. Um, so basically trying to help protect the airplanes should there be um, a bomb on board the plane. Um, so what we've been doing is we've been testing out these bags actually in situ in the plane to see how they perform. We've been involved in a consortium sponsored by the European Commission. The consortium's got lots of different partners uh, with different skills right away from airlines, baggage handling people, composites experts, fabrics experts, uh, aviation security experts. Our role is as the blast engineers. So we advise on what the loading is likely to be from a blast, how to best try to put the fabrics and the materials and the concept together to be able to give the best chance of mitigating that. And then finally, at prototype testing stage, our job then is to actually do the blast tests on a real aircraft structure. When an explosive detonates, you get an incredibly high pressure ball of gas, which wants to expand violently in all directions. The air becomes densified, it becomes highly pressurized, it turns into a shock wave and the shock wave then propagates away from that and if that smacks into a, a material it can cause very severe damage. With flybag it's very soft and compliant and it more softly um, res resists against that loading before it eventually goes, goes taut and then starts to, to, to fully decelerate. We're, we're doing the, um, the tests with the flybag in place to, to push it towards its limit and to see how well flybag can contain this, this explosion. As a comparison, we want to see what happens when we have an explosive in the aircraft without flybag in place. And we, we can demonstrate just how, how effective flybag is at mitigating those worst effects. I've been helping to get basically all the cables and sensors in place to do the experiment. I mean, all the things need power, um, and then they need data cables. You have a special tripwire that actually tells the cameras to turn on to start recording, and all your sensors to turn on to start recording, so you kind of have a time zero. Today will be, I think, defined as a success, being able to complete like, experiments and seeing um, how much better the, the planes are for having the bag inside. Doing a test without any mitigation and seeing a big hole blown in the side of the plane is actually uh, a good comparison to what, how much the bags are doing.